Hi, this is Sheldon here from the Currency Advisory Team. Well, we had a lot of data from China early this morning. Their GDP showed signs of picking up and came in at 7.4% as expected. Uh, industrial production and retail sales also showed a positive uptick uh, from China. And the US dollar index is presently trading at 79.23, which is up by 0.20%. Housing starts data came in positive yesterday at 0.87 million. Now we will also get the unemployment claims data from US later this evening. We expect appreciation in the Indian rupee. Now with the Indian government keen on disinvestment, we have reports that the government has asked ICICI Bank and Citibank to prepare presentations for next week, uh, you know, for them to become merchant bankers for the deals that are going to happen. Now, all this divestment will definitely lift up equity markets and which will in turn strengthen uh, the Indian rupee. Now, traders can get into long positions at around 52.50 levels in the dollar rupee pair. We had United Kingdom's unemployment rate come in yesterday at 7.9%. Now, this is the lowest in more than a year. Though on the face of this, it may appear positive for the British economy, there are a lot of conflicting statements from analysts around the globe. Now, some economists believe that this drop uh, in uh, employment is due to the effect of the recently concluded Olympics, which may have boosted job creation. Also, the Bank of England has come up with a very peculiar observation, which they term as the productivity puzzle. Because as per conventional economics, when an economy undergoes a recession, there's a fall in employment and a corresponding increase in productivity. However, what's happening in the UK is just the opposite of what's uh, being observed. Now, we still hold on to our bearish outlook for the pound dollar pair and expect a maximum up move towards 1.6160 before it corrects back. Now, in rupee terms also, traders can short sell the pound rupee pair at around 85.50 levels. As we see the pound moving back to around 84.20 to 84.10 levels. The euro has made fresh highs of 1.3139 against the US dollar. We have the Spanish bond auction due today. Now, with recent events unfolding in Europe, these auctions have had a very important uh, effect and they are taking center stage. And Spanish yields are what's driving the markets uh, in these present days. Traders can short sell the euro rupee at around 69.60 levels for a 30 to 35 paisa gain intraday. Looking at Japan, well, the Bank of uh, Japan governor will give his annual speech tomorrow. We expect the yen to trade flat against the dollar and the rupee. So there's not much movement expected in terms of the yen rupee pair. Let's wrap up with the technicals for today. Well, for the dollar rupee, we see that there's a very strong support in the spot market at 52.50 on the downside from where we advise our traders to buy. And there is a resistance at around 53.18 on the upside. For the euro rupee, there is a very strong support at around 68.85 on the downside and a resistance at around 69.50 on the upside. For the pound rupee, there is support at around 84.61 and a resistance at around 85.57. And for the yen rupee, there is support at around 66.59 and a resistance at around 67.30. Well, that's it for today. Thank you.